hi loves and welcome back to our channel if you're seeing my face for the first time my name is olua kemi hade sola hi and if you're a returning subscriber you're an og you know how we do it here thank you for coming back and keeping it logged in I put up a poll a poll on my Instagram story and I asked my followers things that can put them put them off in a relationship or before a relationship begins and I got so many wild answers like so many wild answers so I'm going to be talking about some of them if you see me looking down that's me looking at my phone and I'm going to start with this person said picking nose in my presence honestly personally i find this disgusting like why would somebody be there and you know you put your hand in your nose and go uh, 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 uh. Now, that's something you do in your alone time and you wash your hands after because no matter how much we like think about it it's something we can barely avoid doing so why not do it in your alone time why should you do it when someone you have the intentions of dating or marrying or being with you have to pick your nose of all places of all times to do that you chose when that person is there that's disgusting and of course that's very very valid it can definitely put anybody off um this person said fart in my presence okay that's another thing too and i know how people say um you shouldn't hide anything from your partner that's not including fart if you want to fart go to the toilet excuse yourself that is not a show of love it's just sheer dirtiness like why would you fart it stinks don't you get it <laughs> that's so dirty of you it's not love and it's not funny because some people do it and i see them laughing like fam that's not even funny what are you trying to do so it can definitely put me off another thing here is lying to me okay for me lying is is a deal breaker like why would you lie i see um I'm, I'm going to talk now as a lady i don't know about the guys if you want to talk about the guys make your own video i rep the ladies so I, i've been approached by so many guys that they'll just come and lie i am this i am that i own this i own that and then when the time comes for them to back up their story all their all their all their properties and who they are and all of that it's all silence like they are no longer allowed or you practically don't even hear anything from them again because they have told so many lies and it's not adding up and they probably didn't even expect you to ask questions they just expect you to fall at their feet once they start saying they are these they are that they own these they know these they know that yeah definitely a deal breaker and it would definitely put anybody off like i don't get why people lie you want to be in a relationship with somebody except if you know that that relationship is going to be it's going to be a short term thing like maybe for a few months you don't plan to take it further okay you can like to maybe get into the person's pants or to make the person trust you or rely on you or something but if it is somebody that you're looking at a lifelong relationship with why would you like the person okay so what happens when the person ask you for you know ask you to back up all the things you've said what is going to happen then you're going to cook up another lie or what and that's one thing about lying once you tell a lie if you don't come out to say the truth you end up covering that lie with another lie another lie another lie and it just never stops so for how long do you plan to keep that up like ask yourself for how long do you plan to lie so it's a deal breaker and it's definitely puts 
people off even as ladies even ladies lie i won't say ladies don't lie they just tell a whole lot of lie i am these i've been these i've been with this person just to you know make them look important and big so lying is not sex length it's not gender based anybody can lie everybody lies okay this person said the way you text i didn't understand this at first so i had to ask the person that what do you mean by the way you text and he told me um when a girl is giving him a kind of vibe that she doesn't want to talk to him and all that ah well personally if i don't see myself and a guy going anywhere or having any sort of relationship i will let you know like like if i see you're flirting and you're overdoing it i'll tell you you'll back off this can happen so I'm, I'm naturally a very interesting person I can talk and talk except I just don't want to talk to you and then it's no big deal if you're getting the vibe that somebody does not want to talk to you back off there are a thousand other people for you to talk to there is no big deal there no offense nothing instead of you know holding it against the person that the person is giving you so as and i don't know why guys can't see or why people don't know when somebody does not want to talk to them or you're texting somebody and you're like hey what's up how was your day how are you doing how are you and all of that and the person just replies you fine i'm okay the person isn't even asking you and you what did you do today it's all it's so obvious that this person doesn't want to talk to you so just leave them go and talk to someone that wants to talk to you because there's always somebody that wants to talk to you so go and talk to that person i do the same if i'm talking to somebody and i'm asking how was your day what did you eat today did anything interesting happen and the person is telling me like mm, i'm fine thanks i i went to work i came back i be like you're not you're not you're not giving me a breakdown of how your day went you're not asking me questions also is very obvious that you do not want to talk to me and no bad blood nothing oh well cool maybe you want to talk to me tomorrow but that moment i move and find somebody else that wants to talk to me so i don't see how that is so hard for anybody to understand so if somebody isn't talking to you the way you want if you're not getting the kind of vibe that you expect move another person said forming yeah yeah levels so if you follow me on instagram you would see when i answer this person uh it might sound funny but if somebody is forming levels for you that oh you're not in the same level i'm you know i'm richer than you i'm not not even i'm richer than you like um, we're not in the same level you can't sit with me you're not the kind of guy that can talk to me it's no big deal maybe the person is right you know find somebody in your level yes i said it go for people that you know you are like in the same level maybe not the exact same level but you know you're in the same range of levels so go and meet that person it is no bad blood truth be told not everybody is in your level i read something on 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 instagram some one day the person wrote um and that he has been trying to talk to genevieve blah 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 then somebody replied that uh it's because you're not confident enough nobody is above anybody's level blah 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 if you're confident enough you will talk to her you'll be fluent you'll be confident then somebody replied and said confidence no they buy booking that is the truth she because there are some people that are not in your level there are some people that date people that you know they can afford to buy them houses they can afford to buy them very expensive cars very expensive jewelries take them to high-end restaurants just to have breakfast or lunch or dinner and they sort the bill and there are girls that they don't mind paying for these things themselves but because you are not able to do that for them it's not going to boost your morale it's going to make you feel kind of bad about yourself and that is not their fault it is your fault so why not go for someone that you can do things for that will make you feel good about yourself and also make that person feel good there's somebody in your level they put somebody in your in your bank account range even same for the ladies like your man is gifting you cars is gifting you expensive jewelries and you're there gifting him boxers gifting him singlets gifting him underwear packs gifting him pens gifting him you know all sort of very cheap things 
you should feel bad about yourself you have to be with somebody that you kind of match on some level like somebody you're able to match is giving spirit like somebody that gives you as much as tension as you want and you should also be, be able to return the same amount of attention if not more so there's always somebody in your level so stop saying somebody is forming levels for you everybody have their own level everybody have people or, or everybody have have, have people in a particular in a particular kind of level that they want so if somebody is forming levels for you you said go and find somebody in your own level i'm not trying to be mean but that's the that's the ash that's the ash reality of things find somebody in your own level so i don't see how that is a how that is a a mm, how that is something that can put you off um from starting a relationship with somebody maybe you are just not in the same level and the person can't afford to bring herself or himself down to your own level so you should do your own work find somebody in your level it's that simple by faking their personality this is also another deal breaker now let me relate it to forming levels if you know what i mean i want to i want to relate faking personality to forming levels there are some people that they are not forming levels they are actually not your mate now there are some people that act to be what they are not that pretend to be what they are not these are entirely two different people somebody who is faking their personality is somebody who is lying to you that oh i roll with this kind of people i own these i own that i can enter this kind of place i can sit with this kind of people whereas they are lying they are only telling you those things up front to make it look like they can match your vibe to make it look like they are in the same level with you or to impress you but they are actually lying so that is what faking personality means or somebody that is pretending to be nice just to get in your pants somebody that is um pretending to care about you and all of that that is somebody faking their personality and at the end of the day when you get to know them you will see that that is not who they are they are pretending they are liars and these are kind of people that can pretend for a very long time time if you're not careful and if you're not also observing things so that's definitely a deal breaker once i say that somebody is pretending or faking their personality i also will you know stay away from them because i i just can't deal okay this person said um zero sense of humor okay this is another big problem <sighs> like me I joke a lot like if you follow me on Instagram you would know that I joke a lot now imagine me dating somebody and I have to explain my jokes all the time it is so tiring like oh I, I, I said something funny and the person is like I, I don't I don't get that bro how do I explain a joke to you like once I explain the joke it's no longer funny to me i said it that way because it's funny that way it's so hard explaining your joke to somebody like somebody with or, or people that are too serious they don't they just take take life too seriously everything to them is serious 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 they serious about this serious about that like they don't joke they don't have good sense of humor they'll be watching a comedy movie that is really funny and their face is just like they don't find anything funny like how do you leave nah you need to have a good sense of humor that's actually a very good thing to have a good sense of humor so if you don't have a good sense of humor it's understandable if a girl if a particular person does not want to be with you talking broke you won't even get a second date now when somebody is saying talking broke not necessarily somebody is broke somebody does not have money or something this is actually about the mentality there are some people that when they open their mouth to talk all you can hear is poverty like they never even talk like fine maybe they don't have money right now they don't talk like if they have or when they have it this is what things are going to be like all they can think about is they not having that money at all they not having the luxury of so many things so many luxurious things that's what they can think of they they they, 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 are, they are never 
capable of imagining themselves actually being rich or let's say comfortable okay for instance i find people who say oh um they find it they find it silly when people have big weddings like uh, it's so unnecessary it's so this it's so that and in my head not even in my head i'm actually very vocal about these things i say it like if somebody has the money to have a big wedding you know go on a very nice honeymoon and they are secured even financially even after the marriage so why should the person not have a big wedding you find it as a waste you don't even have the money to have one so why are you hating from outside of the club when you can't even get in so that's just poverty mentality to me like if you have the money to throw a big wedding have one if you have the money for your honeymoon thereafter go on one or several and if you have money to um, maintain your lifestyle after your wedding please do so what whatever you so please do it it's your money the problem is if somebody isn't rich and is having a big wedding planning and honeymoon and you know there's now a problem securing the after wedding lifestyle like securing the marriage now financially that is when there is a problem but if but if you have the money to do all all these things you have the money to own the, all the luxuries in the world why not do it why should you suffer yourself because some people see it as you being extravagant or that's just poverty mentality that's it that's broke people's language so yeah that's a that's a that's a um a put of like okay somebody see you wearing an expensive jewelry and then somebody the person is telling you like oh this jewelry is too expensive that can never be me yes it can never be you because you're broke you're a broke person yeah if you have the money and it's comfortable for you to spend it on jewelry let people do it why should you why should you project your poverty on people doesn't make sense so that's definitely a turn off mm -hmm. if they don't give me money or gifts when i really want one okay i can understand where this person is coming from because some people's love language is you know gifts and all of those things so if they want to be with somebody and the person isn't coming forth in that um in that area in that what is that in that area so yeah it's very possible they get turned off you know sometimes you want little or you know more financial help from whoever you're with so it's understandable yeah but the thing is as much as the person is giving are you also willing to give the same there are some men that don't want anything they are okay with just giving but if you're now with somebody that is or our own love language is also giving money gifts and all of that can you actually keep up that's my question for you okay so another thing here is asking me for money always see this is also a deal breaker for some people it's a total turn of like oh um you want to buy this you have to ask him you want to buy that you have to ask him you want to buy this you have to ask him like they practically don't do anything for themselves they have to ask you like they are 100 percent financially dependent on their partners so it's it's a deal breaker for so many people and it is valid it is understandable um never caring for me okay um never caring for your partner is like um you don't care what they do like when they are sick you don't take care of them um when they need somebody to talk to you're not there yeah that's definitely a turn off some people want attention that's enough they don't want you asking them questions like oh where are you going where have you been what are you doing what are you up to they see it as you choking them so yeah they do not like it so but if your partner wants attention if they want to be cared for yeah do that for them and if you're not doing that it can be a turn off for them and the relationship wouldn't last long uh okay this person says showing off i think i've mentioned this earlier there are some people that all they know how to do is show off and all they have is what they show off they don't have extra anywhere they just show off show off show off i have this i am this i am that like if you go to their social media you see them displaying all the luxurious things they have i really just see those people as broke actually 
so it's a turn off for me and definitely for the person that sends this in so um everybody knows him like we go out and everybody greets him okay this can be a turn off for some people like oh uh, like, like for instance as i am a girl i go out with my man and you know we get to the restaurant or wherever it is we choose to go to and you know he's like greeting everybody everybody knows him that's like so uncomfortable and you know like we're having our own moments and people are coming to greet him it's just so much like when a guy is too popular or when a girl is too popular some people cannot handle it so yeah it's a ton of i i get this person um somebody meeting somebody online or meeting somebody on social media and they asking for pictures like you met me on instagram i have several of my pictures there and you're still asking me to send you pictures what is what is that you want to see an x-ray or what man that's a ton of anyways i have other um other answers here but i don't want this video to be too long so if there's any other thing that you know is a total turn off for you or any of your friends i want you to drop it right in the comment section for me and probably we'll make a part two of this video or i'll just talk about it on an instagram live or anything by the way if you're not following me on instagram it is at sugarated underscore make sure to follow me like my pictures i follow back i'm a nice person i follow back and um that's the end of today's video i will see you in the next one i love you bye